yeah hello everyone and welcome back to my new video and we will be continuing with our previous uh, lesson and on the previous lesson we have gone and see about the uh, AOT and the uh, uh, objects and the nodes and today I would like to go and say something about the uh, development area and development in the Microsoft Dynamic Edge so what we call as an IDE and I would like you all to go and uh, read from the Microsoft website uh, regarding um, dynamic X ID ID is nothing but an integrated development uh, environment uh, like uh, whenever we want to develop something we need some kind of tools uh, uh, for our development so ID provide us all the feature for uh, deployment some kind of uh, program or application uh, like for C sharp we have a visual studio uh, visual uh, and uh, visual basic we use uh, uh, Visual Studio and uh, we have uh, I, these are the ID tool and um, so for Microsoft Dynamic X ID what we call is N of X so um, I can read over here the integrated deployment uh, environment what we call as an ID and then Microsoft Dynamic X call as Morphy X it includes tools for designing editing compiling and debug debugging the code of Microsoft Dynamic X so uh, this Morphe X already includes for designing. So what we are will be designing like tables, forms, uh, and compiling and debugging. This topic uh, is described below. So, and the programmable uh, object in Microsoft Dynamic X like table, forms, report, classes, and so are organized in a structure tree. As I have already mentioned in the uh, AOT or application object tree. And creating and editing objects is uh, enhanced by drag and drop functionality and automatic uh, setting of certain objects properties. So, as I have already mentioned you previously, all these are nodes, and inside the nodes, what we have is in objects. So, you can drag and drop these objects or create a new object or delete the objects that you have created. So these are the functionality of a Microsoft Dynamic ID, and each object has its own properties. Here yeah, you can see this is a property. Page. So each object has its own properties. So and today what we'll go and do a small uh, demo on uh, how to create a project. So before we start creating. Um, some development or we are let's say we are creating some forms or tables or we are developing a new reports in Microsoft Dynamic case it's very useful and it's very good to have a project for each of your development like you see in the AOT here you have lots of objects like tables and base num enum so when you are developing your application you may modify here and you may create new table and new enum new extended data type right and forms classes what not you are create so later on after a few months or maybe six months one year plus you already forgot what are the objects that you created what are the classes that you have created and you can remember all of this so so what we do is we create a project so in this project we keep all our development objects inside it so it's for easy for us to maintain so for projects what we have is two types is private and shared project so private is private like say you created this project and you only have access to it none the other users have access to it so said project is uh, said to every all the development all the developer that is in your organization or in your company so let's create a said uh, project mm, just click here and right click new project So after we create a new project we have to give a name 
and uh, so let's uh, rename it and I will call uh, a So usually what we give is a project name and the company or the organization that we are uh, developing and for the user which user is created so at least you know this project is belong to which user so you at least have to mention the user name and the company that you are creating for uh, as I already mentioned you that Microsoft Dynamic X has a lot of company you can create so and the project name so I mentioned in the front is uh, A uh, or I can also put A okay. it depend on you but I just put a small A uh, because I would like to see on the top so if I put Z uh, it will be on the uh, bottom of your all the project I just don't want to put only uh, starting from the middle of the car, uh, half of it because it will be somewhere in the middle it will be very difficult for you to find later so uh, we just want to put it as a so it would be very difficult uh, easier for to find out which is uh, our name so why we create a project um, is with the name um, in the front a because is uh, i would like to have a, this project in the top uh, if i put r then maybe the project will be in the middle and it's for very, very difficult for me to find so after you create a project let's uh, open it this is our first project and now let's add our table to it Okay, so first of all, we'll add a table. So let's create a group before adding. You can you just just don't go and create a tables of from here. It will directly create for you. What we want to do is a uh, organize on a tree structure, same as an AOT. So let's just create a group, and from here, uh, from here drop down. Let's just select the. Uh, uh, tables just copy it and paste it over here so let's say so tables says driver AOT so inside this table now we will create a table okay so now we create a table and we name this table as a Uh, let's create as an so let's just name it as an products so we have a products table so it will take some time to compile it So we have created the tables. Now if you open it, so there is nothing in the table. So we can open it right now. So let's add uh, at least one field. Uh, string so the field name is here as in item ID. save it and save our project to 
and let's uh, open it so you can see we have already one field okay so I think guys uh, this is uh, this much for today's video and uh, we will continue with this uh, project on our next video and uh, hope you guys enjoyed it